What's up, the Comic Coalition here for another video for you guys today. Now today, I've been out there getting so many Marvel Legends and Star Wars toys and everything, and now I just want to go back to my favorite toy company. I want to go hunt me down some NECAs. It's Halloween time. I want to go grab some NECA horror figures. Um, I already have basically just about every horror figure they have, but I'm thinking I might double up on some of them this year. Because I usually only have one and I need to have one in box and one out of box. So that's just how I am displaying my toy room. As well as I'm looking for the new Back to the Future NECA figures that are out there. Super excited about those. Hoping to find those in stores. And whatever else we can find. I'm sure if I find some new legends or whatever else, I might pick those up as, as well. But main focus today is to get out there and find some NECA figures. So I hope you guys are ready. Go ahead and hit that like button. And join me on the hunt. So my homie Chris was able to locate the April O'Neil Foot Soldier 2 pack. Big shots out to Chris. If it wasn't for him, these turtles would be damn near impossible to find. He's been on top of these turtles while I've been at work in the morning, so he's been helping me out a lot. Um, so I'm really glad to have this two pack. We're gonna get a better look at it though, of course. We're gonna open it up, get a get a better look at the details and everything. But I wanted to show you guys that I did get my hands on the two pack so really excited about that i hope you guys are finding everything you're hunting for now let's go find some more stuff find the figures go the distribution sucks around here i cannot find them anywhere still no new joes on the shows not that same old legends over here this place needs to be stuck i like that I'm over here at Spirit Halloween, obviously, and they do. They have what I'm looking for. Spirit Halloween. Billy Bresherson, $12.99. I don't think I could just get one of this guy. I'm gonna have to get two. So they do have uh, Halloween capsules over here. I don't know what's inside. I haven't watched any unbox them yet. So I'm gonna pick these up. They do have the Chucky editions as well. So apparently uh, there's some new Pokemon cars that everybody is going hard to find right now but just got this chase love the hunting mess it was just at disney world last year definitely my favorite ride can't wait to get back when all this stuff dies down and blows over a little bit more but until then i'll just think about my favorite ride while i hold this pop I keep thinking I'm gonna miss the um, Red Series Transformers because you know, I don't really get into Transformers too much, but I wanna pick those up, but I keep feeling like I'm gonna walk right past them one day. What is that? Wait for one. Oh, okay, okay. I've been looking for this guy. trying to leave and this duck is like attacking me and i think it wants my tmnt figures i'm not sure what it is that it wants do you want these naked figures you could have them man you need them more than me bro you need them more than me here take them is this what you want it's all i have i have nothing else but NECA figs. that's all i have no food Maybe have some dog food. 
gravity about it. They're starting to carry like certain graphic novels, manga, and um, like you know, old school like Infinity War, Infinity Gauntlet. So that's dope. So if you're at your local Walmart, you need some comics to read. Be sure to check that out. So it's that day, folks. It's finally here. All the Back to the Future stuff is in stock at my local Walmart. They got the Toonie Classics. They got all the Ultimates. Um, my only gripe would be, well, I have a couple of gripes. For one, I'm not sure how to feel about the face sculpt necessarily. Either way, I'm going to be picking it up. Also, like, why three releases in one day? Why do they all? Like, why does all this stuff have to come out at one time? I feel like they could have spread it out a little. Because usually NECA releases, they don't drop in like waves. You get one figure, you wait a couple months, or you know, and you get another release. But it's like everything, all the Back to the Future stuff mainly just dropped all at once. And I believe there's gonna be a Target exclusive as well. So yeah, that's gonna be hard to track down. But yeah, that'll be my only gripe is that everything dropped at one time. But either way, I'm gonna pick it up. All of them look pretty cool. The Biff looks really dope as well. I'm, honestly, if you ask me, I think this is the better looking Marty. Yeah, I think this is the better looking Marty. I think this Marty looks better than this one, in my opinion, than the Back to the Future Part 2 one. But you be the judge. They also have the Time Machine, DeLorean, all type of stuff some of whatever those are so yeah really excited about back to the future day over here at walmart six minutes all right i am now back from the hunt it was a successful hunt i did pick up some cool action figures i did find what I was looking for. Now, some of the things I already, you already saw me unbox the NECA TMNT April 2 pack. Um, also, if you're interested, the Chase Pop that you saw me find in this video, I already did an unboxing review of him, and the video is already up on my channel right now. You can check that out. But let's show you what I got out there on the front. First off, I did pick up Hondo Onaka. Um, I was seriously going to pass on this figure. But it was just too detailed. I don't know too much about the character. Obviously, I haven't been to Galaxy's Edge, and he's a rather new character inside of Star Wars, so I don't really have too much attachment to him. When it comes to Star Wars toys, I usually buy the figures who I have some sort of attachment to if they're not a trooper. But he was just so detailed, and I'm a sucker for like alien figures. I like the unique sculpts that come with like the crazy alien figures and creatures in certain toy lines, so I figured I would definitely pick him up. But we all know what you're here for. We all know what I made this video for. The Back to the Future NECA figures. And here they are, all at once. Overwhelming, yes, three of them at one time. I don't know why NECA decided to do that. I talked about it earlier in this video. I'm not sure why they decided hey, we're going to release the Back to the Future Ultimate figures. But instead of doing it like we usually do, we're going to release all of them on the same day at the same time, everywhere, along with the Toonie figures as well and everything else. But yes, it was overwhelming, but I could not leave any of them behind. I had to pick up one of each. This is the Ultimate Marty McFly from Back to the Future Part 2. Now, I noticed earlier in the video, like I've stated, um, I feel like the figure from Back to the Future Part 1 may be a little better, but of course we all are excited for the hoverboard. We all know we love his hoverboard. And the boxes are just beautiful. I mean, just like you usually get from an alternate figure from NECA, the boxes are just beautiful, and you're gonna want to just see it when you walk into your collection room. Now, I also got Biff. I thought Biff looked really good. 
the ultimate Biff Tanner. Then look at the inside artwork and at the figure right there. Now, the Biff Tanner figure, I was definitely excited for it, but of course, you know, not as excited for this as I was the Marty, but it's nice when, the nice thing about these figures, I guess, releasing all at the same time is because you can kind of have your villain at the same time, you know, because with NECA, like, we got our Michael Myers and we had to wait years for our Laurie Strode, you know? We have all these Jasons and Freddy figures and we still have, you know, like, people from the franchises like Tommy Jarvis and stuff for them to face off against. So that's cool that we already, you know, have someone, you know, an antagonist and a protagonist already. And also we have Marty McFly from Back to the Future Part 1, which in, <clears throat> I haven't unboxed these figures yet. I haven't gotten to the full details, you know, of them yet. But just from first glance inside the store, I felt like this looked like the better figure as far as face sculpt goes. Maybe I'm wrong. But he comes with all types of accessories as well. So that's definitely dope. Um, now I just need the Doc Brown and I need the Target exclusive Marty as well. I did not go by Target and check on that. Um, which now that I'm making this video, I've come to the realization that I probably should have gone by there today. I know I've made some clips in the video where I did go by Target, but that was another day. But I think I need to end this video right now and zoom over to Target and hopefully find the Target Marty exclusive. Um, like I said, it's just overwhelming all these NECA figures in one day. And plus when I go to find these NECA figures, it's not like I don't find other figures at the same time and other pops and it's just so much. Collecting is just hard. I mean, first world problems, I guess, but that's the life of a toy collector. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. We're gonna have a lot of cool toy hunts coming soon. Also doing 31 videos for 31 days of Halloween. But anyways, as always, you have a good day, YouTube.